Welcome to our episode of This Old Ship. I'm your host, Ron Frankowski. Today we'll be getting paint and primer all over our, in our hair and in our nose. <laughs> Sharon Roberts and I have been coming five or six years. I lost track over COVID. Gail Esker, I came 14 years ago and then took a hiatus. I don't know how long and I think four or five years since then. I found out from Gail. <laughs> she reached out to her friend said, hey, I'm going on this um, ship to do some volunteer work. Uh, anybody want to come? And she didn't think anybody was going to take her up, but <laughs> I, I did. did. Um, so my uncle was on the USS Tweedy, and he, he, he was a troubled man. And he came with the Michigan crew all the time, and he would come back and he would talk about it all the time and it, it made him happy and it was it was so amazing to see my uncle happy and when he passed the michigan crew came to his funeral and i didn't know if they had told tim so i went on the website and i go hey by the way you know steve borbich passed away and he goes i go i'd like to come see the ship sometime and he goes well you can volunteer on it and sleep on the ship i go i could sleep on the ship and he goes, yeah. And I go, he goes, but you can't come with the Michigan crew because they don't allow women. And he goes, but we got this other group, the USS Hughes. So I said, okay. And um, I came, My I remember my daughter was like five or six and um, drove all the way here, 12 hours and didn't know what I was getting myself into. And just, I met everybody. I'm like, what a, what a great crew. And then just life got in the way and I couldn't come back. And then when I finally could again, um, it was it was just so nice it, like tim says we're a family that's not related that sees each other once a year mm -hmm. the people definitely i want to say it's the needle gunning but it's the people it's the people yeah <laughs> yeah i have my dad was in world war ii served aboard the uss north carolina which was it took a, a torpedo on the side and there was some casualties and um but the ship stayed afloat, and it is now a museum ship. I think you know that down in, in uh, North Carolina. And my father-in-law was on the USS Yorktown, which took a, more than one. They took mm -hmm. several until they finally sunk them. But, um, and then my brother-in-law was in uh, on a destroyer escort in the Vietnam War. But I always just thought this would honor them, help, you know, kind of keep the tradition alive. Um. So my uncle, he was in Korea, and my dad was in Air Force in Korea. Uh, he did, my dad did two years, and it was one of those where all his friends, they went down to the recruiting office, oh, let's all go, let's all go, let's all sign up, and only my dad went. <laughs> and he's always loved World War II stuff, it's been just in my life forever, and like I said, this was just a thing for my uncle, and um, now I also do Rosie the River <laughs> stuff, and I, I a needle gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how to sand, how to paint, what kind of marine paint. No, it um, learned about a destroyer escort. Yeah. Um, definitely. And what they did and the service they provided and, you know, just uh, how dedicated the people are that want to keep this yes. history alive. Definitely. Like I said, it, it's family. Yeah, these people are my family. And every year it, it gets just, harder and harder when we lose somebody. But I'm so excited this year to see a whole bunch more people come aboard and younger ones. Yeah, I keep telling Sharon she's got to go. Yep. Even though I just had a knee replacement, I'm still here. Um, I guess I just target people that I think. Number one, I like to volunteer. I volunteer for a lot of things, and people that would like to volunteer or. Like my sister, she's an electrician, and she's a the, to me the original Rosie the Riveter for mm -hmm. this whole thing, and um, so just people that would um, you would normally think that would take on this and would like it. So I have another friend who was going to come this year, but um, life got in the way right at the last minute, and she's going to try and come next year. But she's a worker; she likes to volunteer. And so that's, I said, hey, Patty. And I believe her dad was in the Navy too. So. 
Yeah, That's I'm a I big do. Facebook person, so I'm always posted. Hey, anybody want to go? Anybody want to go? Anybody want to go? Um, one friend, he said when he retires, he's a school teacher. He'll come. He'll have the time. And then my girlfriend, we take the train in from Detroit. So I go, we drive through Cleveland, and she goes, oh. And it just she couldn't come this year. But I think her dad was in the Navy, too. I, I talk about it all the time. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a little harder here because we're so far away. You know, but I think we're both from Michigan. As I get, you know, as I get older mm -hmm. and we start to retire, and maybe easier. Don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see.